After doing some of Warcraft's bigger characters in my previous videos, I thought it would be nice to take a look at some smaller characters in between before we dive back into the big lore stories. Today we have a special one, especially for all the Horde players who without a doubt have met this legendary Torn along their journeys at one point or another. I want to take a look at what we know about him, as he is often disregarded as an insignificant attackable NPC in Orgrimmar, but for being so well known there has to be more than meets the eye. Let's look at his story, his changes throughout the patches up until where he is now. Before we dive into Gammon's lore, let's listen to his most memorable quote from the raid Siege of Orgrimmar during the Mists of Pandaria expansion. I may be bruised and beaten, but the hatred boils inside me. Many times have I fallen at the hands of an orc, and many times have I risen again, but never again. For every orc that struck me, I will cleave a thousand of their skulls. This ends here. I, Gammon, will save us. Gammon was a level 12 neutral NPC in Orgrimmar when World of Warcraft originally launched. He played a role for low level rogues by holding the quest item Tazan's Key, which was required to be pickpocketed for the Horde rogue quest The Shared Hand, which was available for rogues at level 13. The quest described Gammon as a drunk and the assistant of Tazan, a troll who traded with the pirates near Ratchet and who possessed information wanted by The Shattered Hand. Because players can't pickpocket friendly targets, Gammon had to be attackable. This, in combination with his non-threatening combat abilities, convenient placement in Orgmar's Inn, and a lack of consequences for his death, led to him being frequently and casually killed. This could be incredibly frustrating for rogues on the quest, because this could make it quite difficult to find him alive to pick his pockets. They would have to wait for his 5 minute respawn timer, and hope he did not get one shot immediately by a high level player. As the player base grew, Gammon attracted more and more attention as an easy target for quick assassinations and other attacks. His location in the main valley of Orgrimmar encouraged players to kill and interfere with him in more creative ways, such as dragging him in front of the auction house for more viewers or priests using mind control to make him approach other players. A tradition began of responding with emotes to his corpse, ranging from mourn to laugh to spit. There were also a lot of jokes about Gammon dropping legendary items, weapons or gear. Even raids of level 1 players were formed to fight him as if he were a raid boss. Some of this treatment by Horde players is comparable to that of Hogger by Alliance players, which we will get to in another video. Both serve as sort of a mascot or icon for low level, casual and social gameplay. Hogger, however, was not in the city, which meant that Gammon's murders were more casual, in the moment decisions as you didn't have to really go out of your way to go and kill him, and had a wider audience. Even when killed inside the inn, the sound of a torn death groan could be heard from outside. Gammon was also neutral rather than hostile, marking him as sort of an innocent. This small event, or feature if you will, helped make Orgrimmar feel a bit more rough and hostile compared to the Alliance cities, as you could just randomly slay this innocent torn bystander in cold blood. Gammon is much more well known for his role as victim of Orgrimmar than for the quest he was involved in, because the quest only involved rogues, but killing him was something anyone could do. In Wrath of the Lich King, at the end of the Death Knight introduction chain, when new Horde Death Knights entered Orgmar for the first time, Gammon can be heard, promising to protect the citizens of the city from the threat that are the Death Knights. While other NPCs just acted unfriendly, saying things or throwing rotten fruit, Gammon was actually hostile and chased after any Death Knight that came too close, loudly yelling that it would save Orgmar. As a level 12 he was of little concern, but he did use a unique ability, Pride Breaker, which did no damage but dismounted players and punted them about 5 yards. Priests using mind control on Gammon could use Pride Breaker, which was effective on friendly players and NPCs. Common targets included key NPCs such as bankers and auctioneers who could be moved by the punt effect, as well as players using large mounts such as mammoths in front of mailboxes and other key locations. The ability was made unavailable via mind control in patch 3.1.0. During the battle for the Undercity quest chain, in which a faction of Forsaken betrayed the Horde, players were sent back to a phased version of Orgrimmar under martial law to talk to Thrall. Gammon could be seen among other loyal Horde citizens gathered in front of the bank. The pre-patch for Cataclysm gave Gammon a substantial overhaul, going from a simple level 12 mob to a level 85 elite. He hit extremely hard and was a significant challenge to defeat, especially as players were still level kept at level 80. 
Until this point, it was normal for some players to routinely kill Gammon, simply because they could with a single attack. Many of those were caught off guard by the change, casually attacking Gammon only to find themselves one-shot by the mighty 85 elite he had become overnight. Death Knights completing the introduction quest chain that led them into Orgrimmar also faced the wrath of Gammon, who was able to charge them and one-shot the far lower level Death Knight. Gammon's appearance largely remained the same, but where he was previously empty-handed, he now wielded an impressive and unique two-handed axe. Following the changes, players formed raid groups to kill Gammon, often kiting him out of the inn to fight him in full view for other players. Players also kept on joking, claiming that epic and legendary items were drops from Gammon, but in reality he continued to drop typical level 12 loot. The change prompted the creation of a number of form threats, with many players thrilled and amused to see Gammon apparently getting revenge on those who had killed him repeatedly for so long. The many forum posts included a comment from Blizzard moderators. Here we see someone asking, Gammon in Orgrimmar is killing everyone? To which a moderator responded, He's been eating a lot of porridge, so don't get him mad. If you do, form a raid, he drops many copper. Another replies, Imagine how you would feel being beaten up every day by low level ale drinkers just for kneeling there with a yellowy glow. He's out for revenge. After the announcement of Garrosh Hellscream's ascendance to the throne of Warchief earlier that year, the phrase Gammon for Warchief started to appear on various fan sites, including as a poll on MMO Champion. With the changes in patch 4.0.3a, the slogan gained even more popularity, with many jokingly predicting an assault by Gammon on Garrosh. As the expansion progressed, players reached level 85 and acquired more powerful gear, making Gammon a far less challenging opponent able to be defeated by a small group or even single players. Without being able to kill him in one hit and with the surprise of his level boost gone, his fame diminished and he was engaged far less frequently compared to his early days. Patch 5.3.0 of Mesa Pandaria brought changes to Orgrimmar. The status of the Korkron increased, life in the city became more martial as Garrosh Hellscream tightened his grip on the city and an attitude of orc superiority was prevalent. Gammon as a recognizable non-orc Orgrimmar NPC was an ideal representative of those changes. He could be witnessed surrounded between the auction house and the Broken Tusk Inn in the Valley of Strength by several Korkron overseers, who demanded that he put down his axe and go with them quietly. A few things these overseers said to him were, Come with us fool, you don't want this to get bloody. I'm going to enjoy crushing your spirit. Look at this dishonorable creature, you smell of straw. Where do you think you'll run to? The Korkron control the city. You are asking for an axe in your back. Drop the weapon now. You don't want to force the hand of the war chief. Gammon was taken to the drag and forced to kneel beside a tree, under the watchful eye of Korkron Overseer and the rifle sights of three Korkron grunts. A Korkron Overseer can be heard saying, lash him to the tree. It is there that players find him tied up during the Siege of Orgrimmar raid in patch 5.4.0. He feels hatred for falling to orcs in battle and, after being freed, participates in the fight against General Nazgrim. He is also the subject of the achievement, Gammon will save us. In Warlords of Draenor, after Hellscream's downfall, Gammon moved to the second floor of the Broken Tusk Inn with Grunt Mina. It seems that he was not content to stay there long because he is one of the many NPCs to visit Frostwall Tavern and Lunarfall Inn if you choose to build them in your garrison. There he states that he came through the Dark Portal in order to cleave orc skulls, but needs to find a new weapon for that purpose, sending players on the quests Cleaving Time and an axe to grind to get him one. Cleaving Time rewards the toy Gammon's Braid to remember him by, allowing players to temporarily assume his form and use some of his voice quotes. In the Legion expansion, Gammon was present at Vol'jin's funeral ceremony outside the Draenorshar blockade, wearing a new set of armor. During the Battle of Azeroth expansion, Gammon is one of two NPCs that appear randomly in the tainted area within the Vision of Orgrimmar scenario of the horrific visions. He is located on the second floor of the Broken Tusk Inn. Defeating him will provide a 10% health buff called Hero's Bulwark. Let's wrap this video up by looking up some final trivia. Gammon sells Korkron Shaman's treasure on the black market, which gives shamans a cosmetic set to look like the Korkron Dark Shamans. He might have stolen this during the time he was under the watchful eye of the Korkron in Orgrimmar. Gammon is voiced by Alan Sherman in patch 5.4. Alan Sherman also voiced for Hearthstone, Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls, Warhammer 40k, many World of Warcraft expansions, and a lot more. Gammon is one of the characters featured in Blizzard Outcasts, Vengeance of the Vanquished, the fighting game that was announced as part of 2014 April Fools. His description reads, This hero of the Horde, once a milk toast, a drunkard, an easy mark, but no longer. 
rose from the humblest of origins to become the exalted champion of dust-swept Orgrimmar. If he is defeated, Gammon refunds your swipes. His abilities are punching down, parry and bring it on. His nemesis is apparently people. An unused NPC representing Gammon is situated in the same ID range as other legendary warriors, presumably meant to appear in Skyhold. He and most of these NPCs didn't make it out of the Legion Alpha stage, however. And that's what we know about Gammon, a Tauren, who rose from victim to hero of Orgrimmar. If you have any characters you'd like to hear about, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thank you for listening, and I will see you next time.